Hi guys, today's look is a very, um, it's my go-to neutral brown look. Um, and if you can tell, I got some new lighting, so that should be pretty exciting. I've already primed my face. This is going to be mostly high-end makeup, um, because, you know, you have to use it all up, and I enjoy it, so let's do it. Um, the primer I used was my Becca, um, mattifying, sorry, Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector. Honestly, that's a sample. It feels yucky. Like, it feels yuck. Just, like, putting it on your skin, it's, like, rough, and it doesn't, it's not silky or glidey at all, but what are you going to do? So I already did that, and I already did my concealer, um, and I also primed my eyelids. I primed them with the Too Faced um, Shadow Insurance Anti-Crease Eyeshadow Primer, and now I'm going in with a stippling brush and my Estee Lauder Double Wear uh, foundation and I'm just stippling it on top of the concealer. So the places that I put the concealer, um, I put it down the center of my nose, I put it like a little bit up above my brows, um, I put it on my chin to cover up some spots, um, imperfections that I have, uh, I put it on my um, under eye area in a V in a triangle shape. Um, that's just for highlighting and to cover up any dark circles. And I usually go in with a um, sponge, but I decided to go ahead and do um, the stippling brush today. Once in a while, I'll try something different. Honestly, I don't like this. Like, I can already tell you, it doesn't feel that good on the skin to stipple. I don't know. But the next um, thing I'm going to do is I'm going to powder, and I'm going to be using the Too Faced um, Primed and Poreless Loose Powder on a big fluffy powder brush. As soon as I finish this, and you've seen me use that before. The reason I wanted to use um, a more high-end stuff is like, it's great to do drugstore, but it's also fun to use your high-end stuff. I mean, this is the splurges, or usually this high, high-end stuff I don't purchase with my own money. Like, if it's a gift card or something, maybe I will, but usually if it's over, like, $20, I'm not going to just buy it on a whim. It's going to be a gift. You can't see it probably in the camera, but this looks awful. It's like really cakey. And not flattering. So I gotta go back in with my foundation sponge because I just feel like I have more control with the blending and the overall finish of it. I just felt like I looked a little cakey. I love that foundation because it truly covers, which is excellent, but um, it also truly covers, so you, you get a, a heavier makeup made up look, which, you know, for a special occasion is great, but for every day it may be a little much for a lot of people. Um, they call it medium coverage, and I think that's accurate, but there's definitely a buildable medium coverage. Alright, so like I said, we're going to do some loose powder. This is just to set that cream or that um, liquid consistency. So I just poured some of the loose powder in the cap, put my brush in there, and blew off the excess. I just washed my brushes, and let me tell you, there's nothing better than having clean brushes. It's amazing. Alright, so next I'm going to go in with some bronzer. I'm going to use the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. And I'm going to use a an angled brush, which is for contouring, like that, slightly angled. And I'm going to contour from the top of the ear, about halfway into the lips at an angle, towards the nostril. I love this stuff. It smells like chocolate. Okay, other side. Next, I'm going to go in with some blush. Um, I'm going to be using my MAC palette, of course, since I wanted to use high-end stuff. Um, and I think I'm going to go in with the color um, Melba. 
and I'm going to use a regular blush brush. This is just a rounded blush brush. And this is Melba. It's like a peachy, peachy color. And pour a brush in there. I find it's not that great a pigmentation on this color brush, but it's really pretty. And I'm just putting it right on top of that bronzer. And the next thing I'm going to do, trying to stay a step ahead of the game um, so that this doesn't take 20 minutes, is I'm going to go in with my uh, MAC Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish as a highlighter. So I'm going to take a fan brush and Soft and Gentle. I have new packaging on these. I'm not sure I love them, but what are you going to do? Um, so I'm going to brush that on the top of the cheeks. You can see that. It's like a gorgeous highlight. Um, I may tone it down just a little. It is stunning, though. Like, I just love it. Okay. So because it is a little intense, I'm going to go over that with that powder brush. I'm not putting any additional product. I'm just throwing that on there. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is the eyeshadow, and I'm going to go ahead and use my Urban Decay um, Naked palette, Naked One, and um, it just simplifies everything. So, uh, the first color I'm going to use is this color Naked. Now, you're going to see how much I've used of this color. Um, it's like my all-time favorite um, nude, almost skin color, so I'm just going to go in there with a regular old eyeshadow brush, kind of a fluffier brush, and put that over the lid. And then I'm going to go in with the second color in the crease. And this is seriously as simple as that eye look is, but it's just a really flattering look. So I'm taking it up almost to the um, highlight at the arch brows, underneath the brows, because it is such a neutral color, you really can't tell it's very much of anything. Okay, so now I'm going to take that same brush because I like the size of this brush. I'm going to take Buck, which is uh, skip one shade. So I used uh, this first color, Naked, now I'm using Buck. Buck. And I'm going to put that in the crease. And I'm also going to put it a little bit in the outer V. And that is it. I'm going to use a highlighter, which I'm going to use from the same palette. It's the first palette, uh, first color called Virgin. It's a white color at the end. And just a flat brush. I'm going to just put that underneath the brows and in the inner corner of the eye. Next, I'm going to do my eyebrows. And believe it or not, I'm able to use that same color, that um, buck that we just used for the crease, for my eyebrows. I'm going to take a skinny brush. A smaller brush to draw on my brows, very small. And it just dropped a brush. And um, if you have a puppy or a small child, you know I have learned anytime I drop anything, I used to just like let it leave it there till it was convenient to pick it up. No, now you have to pick it up right away. Okay, so I just dipped the brush into that buff color and I'm just gonna fill in. My brows a bit. I've been finding, you know, the medium browns are ideal for my brows. I've tried darker colors. I just feel like I look, they look like not my brows. They look fake or something. It's hard to explain, but. All right. Next, I'm going to go in with some eyeliner. This is my MAC uh, Pentultimate Rapid, I think it's Rapid Black. Yeah. Pen Ultimate Eyeliner in Rapid Black. And I'm going to pull slightly on the outer eye and draw with small strokes back and forth all the way in. And then I'm going to start from the bottom of, on the eyeliner, the bottom lashes, and then I'm going to angle up um, from there, connecting it to the upper lashes. So I'm going to get really close to this. So there's the lower lashes. I'm kind of tracing that. And then I'm going to continue it upwards. And... Now I'm connecting that outer V. So, let's go back. I don't know if that was more clear. The lighting's a little better now. So let's do it again. I'm going to pull slightly on the outer eye 
I'm just going to make small strokes back and forth. And then I'm going to start from the lower lash line, trace it all the way up. And that's the angle I want. Now I'm filling in that triangle that I created. Now it's not going to be perfect every time, but that's a really good guideline to get the winged eyeliner look. Next I'm going to go in with, this is one of the only uh, non-high-end high color things I'm going to use. Let me say that again. One of the only non-high-end products I'm going to use. This is the NYX two-timer. One side is a felt tip liner and one side is a cold pencil. It's pretty cool. I mean, you have your cold, yeah. Anyway, you get the point. So I'm going to go in with the um, cold pencil, actually, and I'm going to fill in the waterline. Just small motions back and forth. And I'm going to do the same on the other eye. Then I'm going to take the eyeshadow palette that we just used, and I'm going to pick a color to go in there and fill in under the lashes on the lower line. So um, <clears throat> I'm also going to do my tight line. Hi, puppy. Um, which you have to kind of tug a little up and fill in that line just above. Still, like this slightly. This is just for a very dark, defined eye look. All right, so let's pick that eyeshadow. We're almost done here. I'm going to go in with a small, small brush, similar to the one that I used for my eyebrows. And I'm going to, excuse you, sorry, um, go in with Buck. And that is that same one we used for the crease. I'm having problems here, guys. There we go. Same one we used for the crease. And I'm going to put that under the lower lashes. And then I'm gonna <clears throat> then I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and I'm going to blend all that out. <clears throat> hey, go see dad. Well, I think he got our attention. Okay. All right. So fluffy brush. And I'm just going to buff that. I'm just doing little circles and buffing it all out. And I'm going to do the same thing with the upper line. And don't be shy with this. Keep blending until you're happy with it. So next I'm going to um, be caught. curl my eyelashes. I'm just putting my lashes between the hole. Uh, the space. Putting it as close to my lashes as possible. My lash line. And I'm going to squeeze. And then I'm going to pulse it five times on each eye. One, two. Three, four, five. Then I pull a little towards the end and I do it again. One, two, three, four, five. Other side. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to pull it a little bit towards the end. One, two, three, four, five. So this is my CK1 mascara in the 800 uh, show is the name of the black, I guess. This is a kind of a cool mascara. Honestly, I'm not that much of a fan of it, but it's a cool idea. Um, it has a spinny, uh, a twist up part that one side is made for lengthening and one side is made for like thickening. So I suppose you could use both. Um, if you, in one makeup look, you could just alternate between the two to make like the perfect lashes. I don't know. I guess that's where they were going with that, but all right, so I'm going to do the lower lashes really quick. Just wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Okay. Other eye, and then we're going to move on to lipstick. Now, I wanted to do a higher-end lipstick, but I wasn't sure um, how dark I wanted to go since this is kind of a dramatic eyeliner look. Um, but since it's all on the neutral color palette, I figured I would go ahead and go with my highest-end lipstick, which is my Estee Lauder, um, Estee Lauder lipstick. And this is in the color Pure Color 18 Boys de Rose. Um, it's actually a pretty 
browny pink, like a rose pink brown color. I don't know how to explain it. You'll see it in just a second. All right. So let's go with the lipstick and the setting spray and we'll be all done. This stuff lasts like all day. All right, so setting spray today is gonna be Max Fix Plus. And I have my hair in a fishtail uh, braid. It's hard to see with the lighting. But um, if you want to see how to do that, let me know. There we go. If you can see it. Um, if you want to see how to do that, just let me know. I will do a tutorial on it. It's really easy. Like, once you do it once, uh, it's so easy. And it's only two strands. It's not like three or five or something like a complicated braid. But anyway, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed. And um, this can be done with a basic lip color, a nude lip color, uh, whatever you want. But um, the principle is the same, a lid color and a crease color with some winged out black liner. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, leave comments below. Thanks.